What's happening, everybody? It's me, Allie Burns, from Picks and Parlays, and it's time for the NFL primetime prop drop for your Monday night football. It's the Saints and the Bucks, and I've got Scott Reichel from Winners and Winers here to lay down the law on the player props that you should be taking tonight. What's up, Scott Reichel? How are you feeling no, today? I'm doing pretty well. Been a while. How have you been? I'm good. I'm good. I know we kind of, we just, we couldn't make it work last week, but you know oh. what? It's Monday and it's working this week. So we're already on top of it. Yep. Definitely looking forward to going through the game tonight. Beautiful. All right. So start me off everyone. Before we get going, let's like subscribe and ring that bell for notifications. Do us a solid. Both of us put out free picks all day long. You don't want to miss any of our free content. All you got to do is ring that bell for notifications. Uh, and your phone will remind you every time we've got something to tell you. Okay. So let's start it off with the first quarter. That's a good place to start the beginning. What do we got yep. going on here? Right well, you got to start somewhere. So we're going to start off with the first quarter. And it's going to be the Saints Bucks under in the first quarter, uh, seven and a half and minus 135. Uh, going through the numbers this season, both teams really awful offensively, especially in the first quarter. New Orleans is averaging just 3.1 points per game in the first quarter, which ranks tied for 24th. Meanwhile, Tampa is not that far ahead, averaging 3.2 points per game in the first quarter, which ranks 23rd. And New Orleans has been especially bad in the first quarters on the road recently as the Saints have not scored in the first quarter in three of their last four road games. So I think you're going to end up seeing a very ugly game tonight. We know Tampa Bay doesn't exactly air it out too much. A lot of dump-off passes, a lot of really long drives, and the Saints have Andy Dalton, so they're pretty much going to do the same thing. But seven and a half involves two scores, one of them being a touchdown. I don't think we get there, so I'm going to go with the under seven and a half in the first quarter. Okay, I like where you're headed with this. Talk to me about Taysom Hill. So Taysom Hill, not really sure what his role is on the team. Technically, he's a tight end who plays quarterback on occasion. Uh, but I'm going to go with the under 25 and a half rushing yards. Going through the recent numbers, this number is way too high. He's had a less than 14 rushing yards in three of the last four games. He also only had 14 rushing yards in the first meeting this season back in week two. And at the end of the day, Taysom Hill, we know, is a very interesting player. But from what we've seen the last couple of weeks, his role has been really, really limited in terms of being the quarterback and running QB draws. He's been more of a tight end recently. And now with Juwan Johnson being out, uh, you're missing your starting tight end. So maybe he'll might have to embrace a bigger role in the actual pass catching game. But 25 and a half for a guy who's been kind of limited on the ground recently, I think it's too high. I'm going to go with the under. All right. Under, we take it in rushing yards for Taysom Hill. Now let's talk about the GOAT. We've yeah. got some quarterback props for you. We're going to start out with Tom Brady. Let's go. So I know historically speaking, the Saints have given him some trouble. However, I think that this number is definitely a solid price, all things being considered, uh, with under half an interception, or in other words, no interception at minus 125. To go through Brady's numbers this season, uh, he's been very, very careful with the football. He has not thrown an interception in nine of the last 10 games. And New Orleans is also forcing just .2 interceptions per game, which is dead last in the league. So Brady's been very careful with the football. And New Orleans rarely, if ever, forces interceptions. I get he's had problems in the past throwing picks against this team, but the same secondary has really not been that opportunistic. And I think this line should be a lot just lower in terms of value. I think 125 is a steal with all the stats, so I'm going to go with the under. I love those stats. That was a great break. That's a great angle. Nice. That's what we do the player props where you find those little gems like that. I love that. All right, let's go to the other side. Andy Dalton. So it's Andy Dalton on prime time. So you're assuming he's not going to play too well. However, we only need one big play, and we're going to go with the longest completion over 33 and a half yards. Uh, to go through the numbers this season, Dalton has gone over this number in five of his last six games. Tampa Bay has also allowed a completion of at least 45 yards in two of the last three games. And Tampa might be a little bit shorthanded tonight in the secondary. A cornerback, Sean Murphy Bunting, good player, is doubtful. And safety, uh, Winfield Jr. is also doubtful. So Tampa might be a little bit shorthanded in the secondary. They still have Olave. They got Jarvis Landry back a week or two ago. They have some weapons. But 33 and a half for a guy that's gone over in five of his last six, we just need one. We just need one break in coverage, and that's a win. But I think this number's a bit too low. All right, all right. So that was your primetime prop drop with Scott Reichel. If you're looking for more of his free plays, follow him at Reichel Radio. Tell him what you're all about, Scott. So I'm all about free picks because I don't charge for anything. So you can find all my free picks on YouTube on the Winners and Winers page. Uh, besides that, I know that I'm on Morningwood every other week. So this week, uh, you gave me the week off. So thank you for the time off. I'll do You're some welcome. reflections. But I still am going to need you for chaos. So don't just like 
take a vacation or anything. Yeah, I know. You don't need me for chaos. I'll just keep my Fridays clear. Uh, but besides that, I still got a bunch of podcasts I do. I link all those on my Twitter. And besides that, yeah, once again, it's all free. So there you go. And that's the best part of it. Free is like my favorite price for things, honestly. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, so check out Scott Rice Show at Rice Show Radio. If you're looking for me, you can find me at Plus Money Honey. Boom, there it is right there. Um, and there was something else I had to say, but now I forgot it. So we're going to move on. Thank you guys so much much for watching the NFL Primetime Prop Drop. We'll be back tomorrow, Tuesday, with NBA Primetime Picks, Wednesday with more NBA Primetime Picks, and then back again on Thursday for your Thursday night football primetime action. So don't miss us. Like, subscribe, share, ring the bell for notifications. Good luck, everybody. Let's go Monday night football.